Now, your latest headlines and seven first alert forecast from 7 Action News. Well, some homeowners in Trenton are calling for Wayne County to step in after they say their property was damaged by snow thrown from plows. People along Fort Street say their fences were broken after heavy snow was cleared from the road. Wayne County Public Services agrees the damage was caused by the plows, but the department says it was an unavoidable accident because of the weight of this weekend's snow. Homeowners are being told to file a claim with Wayne County. And today we're honoring the life of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. with a look back at his legacy. Communities across Metro Detroit will be working towards fulfilling Dr. King's dream. A day of service and peace walks are scheduled all across the area, and that includes Michigan's oldest peace walk in Southfield. People will gather at Hope United Methodist Church on Northwestern Highway this morning at 930. At the Charles H. Wright Museum of African American History in Detroit, there will be panel discussions, activities for kids, and a keynote address. That all begins at 10 o'clock. And we have a complete list of Martin Luther King Jr. Day activities on our website over on WXYZ.com. Good morning. It's cold outside today. Temperatures are uh, only around 10 degrees this morning and this afternoon. Although the sun is going to be out, temperatures will only be into the mid 20s. So really cold day today. If you're going to be going to Comerica Park, 1:30 to 3 p.m. The MLK Freedom Walk today. And again, the sun will be out. Wind pretty light, only around five miles per hour, and that will help. But it's going to be a really cold day. Highs only around 25 degrees this afternoon. These have been your latest headlines and seven first alert forecast from 7 Action News.